Another thing that a supercharged battery will do is turn off reactive oxygen species. Reactive nitrogen species and stop inflammation. We often hear the term scavenger applied to an antioxidant. One envisions a Pac-Man going from free radical to free radical gobbling them up until they are all gone. As it happens, this is sort of how dismutases work. Most people have heard of superoxide dismutase. Both parts of the name superoxide and dismutase will help us understand. Let's look at a superoxide first. Superoxide is made from oxygen, O2, by adding an electron. Adding an electron to O2 is the definition of reduction. I use the mnemonic oil rig to keep oxidation and reduction straight. OIL stands for oxidation is loss. RIG stands for reduction is gain. And what we're talking about here is electrons. Superoxide is the first step in reducing oxygen. So superoxide has a charge of negative one because it has taken on an electron. One electron added to oxygen takes it from being a dual free radical with no net charge to being a free radical having a single unpaired electron and a minus charge. This pattern is followed in making reactive oxygen species from oxygen. Add one electron and you get superoxide. Add a second electron and you get hydrogen peroxide. Add another electron and you get a hydroxyl radical. One more electron and you get water. So superoxide is the first reduction of oxygen. Then you get peroxide, then you get hydroxyl radical, and finally with the fourth electron you are at water. We started talking about superoxide dismutase. The dismutase part refers to the reaction mechanism of the enzyme. So dismutases take two of the reactive oxygen species and steal an electron from one to give to the other. Catalase is also a dismutase. It makes water and oxygen. The advantage of dismutases is that they don't need a battery to get their electrons. This lets dismutases work just like Pac-Man. Note that this works great in the mitochondria where superoxide is the main reactive oxygen species and superoxide dismutase makes oxygen and hydrogen peroxide. Then the mitochondrial catalase, which is also a dismutase, can clear up the hydrogen peroxide without involving hydroxyl radicals. But what if you're dealing with a hydroxyl radical or one of the reactive nitrogen species that come from reaction of superoxide with nitric oxide? Dismutases don't exist for these other reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species. In this case, you need to get your electron from NADPH. NADPH provides electrons to glutathione, to thioreduxin. These in turn give electrons to vitamin C, which give electrons to vitamin E. The antioxidant enzymes don't work at all like Pac-Man. Each time they give an electron to a reactive oxygen species or a reactive nitrogen species to neutralize the reactive oxygen species or reactive nitrogen species, the antioxidant is oxidized. The antioxidants are now oxidizers themselves and need to be reduced ultimately by NADPH. In order to go after another bad guy, having a supercharged battery can provide all the electrons needed to clear reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species.